Come on, you lot. We mustn't be late. We won't! Stop rushing us! I'm going the pace I always go. We're right on time. Oh. You trucks don't know what you want. You're all, take us out, Mavis. And then we get out and you're moaning, I'm too... Must be a car, but I've never heard a car make the sound like that. Oh! Get it! Watch it, Sheila. It's a level crossing for a reason. <laughs> Me? You watch it, Jackass. Uh, sorry, Mavis, but could you please get out of the way? I'm late enough as it is. <laughs> oh. Are you all right, Mavis? Sounded like an awful racket coming from the tram road. It was the rudest, loudest car I've ever met in my life, Toby. He appeared out of nowhere with no warning, jumped out right in front of me, and then ran away after telling me to... to watch it! So, you've met him too. Have you seen him? Oh, we know each other. He's been causing trouble all over the branch line. Ignoring crossing signs, jumping railway tracks. Oh, he's a menace! Who is he? Oh, his name's Ace. He's that new parts tester for that garage up near Great Waterton. How does he test parts? By joyriding around the island, with little regard for anyone but himself. Well, we ought to do something about him. <laughs> <laughs> Heard you were talking about me. I'm not too surprised. I am pretty notable. <laughs> you, Ace. That's my name. Don't wear it out. You could have damaged me. You, you could have damaged yourself! What on Sodor is wrong with you? Listen, Sheila, it's not personal or anything. I'll go where the wind takes me. It ain't my fault it happened to take me across the tracks, right? <laughs> I live my life by my motto, free and easy. The only problems I care about are the ones I can't drive around. Why stress about the small stuff? Besides, nobody got hurt, right? Someone could have been hurt. Yeah, but no one was. Wait till Sir Topham Hat hears about this. Ugh. Now that you mention it, I am pretty bored of this place. Plenty in twists and turns elsewhere, right? I think I'll take a gander at the rest of the island. You railway types are too stuck in your ways. Always set in your path and you won't stray away from it. Take my advice. Free and easy. Live a little, then you'll see the light. Trust me. Smell you later, Squares! <laughs> Who knows how much trouble he could cause on the rest of the island? We need to warn the others. That's why you need to keep an eye out. Ace is nothing but trouble. I'm sure Ace won't be a problem. There aren't nearly as many places where the road meets the railway outside your branch line, Thomas. He'll be forced to stick to the road. He'll find ways to get in the way. He always does. Don't you think you're giving him a little too much credit? This is Ace we're talking about here. <laughs> Honestly, the way you're talking about this car is abhorrent. He has feelings just like the rest of us. Maybe he just doesn't know any better. Race cars lead pretty sheltered lives. I'm sure if he understood how much damage he was actually causing, he'd see sense immediately. He just needs someone to reason with him. No! There is no reason with him, Emily. The only logic he's operating on is what keeps things free and easy. Some men just want to watch the world burn. We'll keep an eye out for him, Thomas. We'll keep him from doing anything stupid. Or hurting himself. Mostly keep him from doing anything stupid.
Out of the way, fire hazard! I'm trying to speed up here! You could always go around! Oh, there's no room! Hurry it up, mate! Sonny, I've earned the right to take it slow in my old age. Where's the fire? Ugh. <laughs> well, look who's got the free and easy path now, Ace! Hmm. Yeah. Funny, I didn't think there was a side road around here. Morty Pants, this is way faster! This is the way to live, baby! The open road with the wind in my face! Woo! -hoo! Silly car! Get out of the way! Well, good thing I'm gonna! Enjoy your lame rails! Deuces! Are you alright? That race car's the most reckless driver I've ever seen. I'm fine. Just sore. Hopefully he didn't damage my brakes. Hopefully he doesn't do anything else ridiculous like that. I wouldn't count on it. No way am I going to sit here waiting for some slow train. I've got things to do. Oh, <laughs> I can make that. What? Oh, come on. Hey, mate, let me out. There's a train coming. Thanks for holding the door. Not. <laughs> Open the gates! Open the gates! Why did you signal me through if the gates weren't open? It wasn't my fault. Hey, Ace! Get back here! I had an accident because of you! Do you have any idea how much damage you've caused? Someone could have been hurt! The nerve! That car is nothing but trouble! Why can't he stay on the road and bother the buses or something? Race cars are antsy things. They need a lot of stimulation. Or they start to lose their minds. He's driving me crazy, racing around the island like this. Oh, I can't feel safe with that yellow terror on our island. He just appears out of nowhere. He's shown up in our yard too. That stupid car just keeps getting away with it. It's disgraceful. Disgusting. Despicable. Distressing. Has anyone seen Sir Topham Hat? He's bound to have something to say about all these accidents. How can we? Ace Joy rides all over the island. How are we supposed to get him scolded if we don't know where he is? He's going north. No reason for the meeting now. See you around. Why? He's not our problem now. He's the little westerns. <laughs> Just imagine. 
guess in the air I get off of that. G'day all you sports fans and welcome to the Gasket Stadium today. Ace, the Australian racer, will be doing his most daring stunt yet. Jumping the bellish shoe. The local squares look on in dismay. Can't believe it what they can see. And he's away. Can he do it folks? I'm on the edge of my seat. And he sticks the landing. And the crowd goes wild. Ace the racer ace, is ace, unstoppable. Ace, 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 ace. Can I help you? Just sightseeing mate. Mind your own business, yeah? It is my business when a race car is loitering about in my yards. Well, pleasure to meet you, mate. Ace the name, racing's my game. Any particular reason you've been staring at our shoot? Just looking. Can a car look at something without you railway tops getting freaked out? Looking had better be all you're doing. Well, good thing it is. Mr. Oliver, look, there's a race car on the small engine's track. A race car? Now you're pulling my wheels, Toad. But there is a race car, Mr. Oliver. He's driving up the chute. Uh, all right, all right, back it up. This thing isn't for you, Speedy. Just wanted to check out the view. Ha! I wished five kids with their bikes off yesterday, and I'm happy to wish you off too. Now I am Scray. Everything all right at there, Mike? No, Oliver, it's not all right. There's more thrill-seeking troublemakers trying to jump our chute. You see, Mr. Oliver? Excuse me for having some healthy skepticism. Come on down. That chute's not built for race cars. You've nowhere safe to land either. Safe, Schmave. Always about the way things are built with you engines. Don't you believe in free will? Where's your sense of adventure? Oh, I uh, hope I didn't forget that somewhere. No, Sydney. Ace is the one with his sense of adventure in the wrong place. I suggest you take your thrill seeking elsewhere. We know how to deal with troublesome vehicles on this branch line. And what's that supposed to mean? It means I know some hens who would love to make you their new condo. He's bound to be back. How are we going to keep an eye out for him? Are you in the yard all afternoon, Sydney? Uh, I think so. Ah, give us a holler if you see Ace coming back, will ya? Sure, will do. Thanks, Sydney. I knew I could count on you. You're welcome, Duck. Just one question. Yeah? Who's Ace? Going somewhere, Ace? Just getting a closer look. A warning would have been nice, Sydney. Oh, sorry. I forgot that that's who Ace is. Well, now you know. Hey! I was just leaving. Yes, I know. And if you weren't, you should be. Sydney! You need to give us a heads up. Oh, sorry. I won't forget again. Guarding this thing. I need my beauty sleep. Oh, yes, you need it most of all, don't you, Mike? How are we supposed to keep track all night? If he sneaks into the yard, there's nothing we can do about it. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. Race cars don't have headlights. Ace is just as stuck as you lot are at night. Can't go on a joyride if you can't see. 
Oh, oh what a relief! I was really worried there for a second. For. It's so rare. Good thing I'm no ordinary race car. Don't forget to leave the hoppers under the chute for Donald's train tomorrow. He gets real cranky if he's late to start the day. Got it! Thanks for the reminder, Duck. It's the same reminder I give you every evening, Sydney. installing these things. It makes night rides way easier. Let's shed some light on this stunt, shall we? Don't threaten me with a good time. Oh, hey, turn those off. Try some shades, mate. <laughs> I'll wear my sunglasses at night so I can Saturday. <laughs> now we're talking. Uh, what was that? Oh, yeah. what Who am I? Like, where am I? What's going that? on? Can't stop me now, Smoolies. This jump's just too good to let go. It's Ace. He's headed up the chute. Oh, uh, we're screwed. Nobody tells me what to do. Especially a bunch of party pooper engines that don't believe in the power of the wind. It's free and easy for me, nothing else. Yeah! Now this is a thrill! <laughs> what? what? Did he stick the landing? Oh, not cool. <laughs> Finally, I was worried I was never going to be able to see the sun again. <laughs> uh, hey, Sir Topham, Ed, uh, funny seeing you here. Well, Ace, I've been trying to track you down, but Ed and I have had no luck locating you. Seeing as you're always slinging yourself across the island on joy rides, but seeing as you have nowhere to run, as it were. Let me make something very clear. You can do your job testing parts wherever you please on the road, but you will not use my railway as a racetrack. I was trapped in my office all day yesterday, stuck on the telephone trying to sort out delays and damage that you directly caused. I appreciate your willingness to be my guinea pig, but it's clear I have to lay down a few rules when it comes to your presence near the railway, and when it comes to your stunts. Hey, uh, listen, I... Do you have any idea how expensive the parts I install into you are? Those experimental headlights I put in? No way I can replace those now. They were one of a kind. Those parts are our livelihood, Ace. If you keep destroying them, who knows if I'll even be able to repair you after a certain point. I'm sorry, Ed. I, I promise I won't be reckless again. Cross my heart. I believe in when I see it. Sir Topham and I have been speaking, and we think we know the perfect way to keep you from being reckless for at least a little while. Maybe then the lesson will stick. What perfect way? What are you going to do? <laughs> Wait and see back at the garage. Take him away, bitch.
<laughs> Good work, Sydney. You dealt with Ace just by being you. Oh, thanks, guys. What exactly are you thanking me for? You did good, Sid. You did good. Neat! Don't tell me Ace did something stupid again. Call yourself a race car! Get a disgrace to the road! Find yourself a shell, snail! <laughs> Ace? What happened to you? Ed took my engine out and he replaced it with an engine he's testing out for Farmer Finney's old tractor. This is as fast as I can go right now. <laughs> a tractor? <laughs> yes, a tractor. Said if I had to go slow for a while, maybe I'd appreciate caution a bit more. Oh, what a square. Oh, I don't know, Ace. I'm sure Terrence will appreciate you breaking his new engine in for him. In fact, why don't you go and plow his field while you're at it? For him, it'll be free, and for you, it'll be easy. <laughs> <laughs> Hardy -ho. Talk my tires. You now have my contact information. I expect an RSVP within the week, Edmund. Will do. Good day, race car. I now see what our mutual friend meant when he said there were troubles under the hood. Ha <laughs> ha! I believe we'll be seeing a lot more of each other when Mr. Abbey responds to my invitation. But I can't great see you with my charisma much longer. There's much excitement to coordinate. Away! Ed? Who was that? Some businessman with big plans. Said he wanted to see if you were interested. I told him it wasn't a good time. Interested? Uh, interested in what? Tell me! Well, you'll just have to wait and find out, Mr. Impatient. Besides, you'll hear from the man himself soon. We know how to reach him. 